Marker is an entity that marks and distinguish one thing from the rest others. Consider two places on the map which are marked by green and red marker points. Similarly, in the text, the marked region highlighted in yellow makes it stand out from the rest of the test. Thus, it is also a marker. In biological context, a marker distinguishes individuals, populations, varieties or species. Consider two group of humans which are distinguished based on the color of individuals. Here, body color is a marker. Markers can be classified as three main types. Phenotypic markers or morphological markers are the first generation of markers. Biochemical markers or the second generation markers and genetic markers or the third generation of markers. Phenotypic markers distinguishes individuals based on their morphological characteristics. For example, height is a phenotypic marker that differentiates tall plants from short plants. Similarly, resistance is another marker which distinguishes resistant and susceptible plants. Biochemical marker exploits variation in expressed products like proteins or isozymes. Isozymes are enzymes having variation in amino acid sequences but catalyze same chemical reaction. However, they differ in their kinetic and regulatory properties. For an instance, blood sample of two individuals needs to be checked for presence of a disease resistance protein. Through different separation and identification techniques, it is found that the resistance protein is present in individual 1 but it is absent in individual 2. The protein fingerprint on the gel which is showing a band of resistance protein in S1 but absent in S2 is observed by the reference ladder. This suggests that individual 1 is the resistance type but individual 2 is not. Here the disease resistant protein is a biochemical marker that distinguishes two individuals. However, the major limitation with phenotypic and biochemical markers are first they are influenced by the environmental changes that is they are very unstable. Second, the number of characters or proteins are very less thus the number of phenotypic or biochemical markers are not many. Genetic markers also known as DNA markers evaluates variation in individuals based on variation in the DNA sequences. Example of these markers are RAPD, RFLP, AFLP, SSR and SNP. I will be making separate videos on each of these marker types. The variation detected by these markers may be insertion, deletion, duplication or inversion of one or more nucleotides. Consider a small region of the whole DNA. The variation may be deletion of a nucleotide like A in this case, insertion of a nucleotide A or duplication of a region which is TAG in this case or inversion of TAG to GAT or mutation of a nucleotide like A to C. Such variations is seen as DNA bands on gels which is also known as DNA fingerprint pattern. In this picture, DNA fingerprint pattern showing variation among parents and their children based on variation in their DNA sequences. The main advantage of genetic marker is that they are not influenced by environment that is they are very stable and second that number of markers are almost unlimited. If you like the video do share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel as I keep uploading such interesting videos. Please comment below on which topic my another video should be. Thanks for watching.